two of our Makers Advent Calendar. What are we going to felt today? What are we going to create today? What are we going to talk about today? Nobody knows. No idea yet. For those of you that are just joining me new, what this is, is the makers in the summer, they sell their advent calendar boxes or they let you put down your deposit for them. And these always sell out in the summer. And they send us a big old box with a little package to open every single day for advent with little bits of supplies, little bits of inspiration, all sorts of things. So... We're on day eight and I do not know even what is in the bag for day eight. So we don't know what we're going to be creating. So what we do is every day I open the day's bag. We have a look. We see if we get inspired and we create a little something probably festive because it's Advent. So, yeah, don't know what we're going to do. But if you haven't seen, you can check out my other live videos in the series by clicking on my channel and looking at all the lives um, and you can see some of the critters we've created oh pointing's not a strong point we did a polar bear we've done a santa hat there is a candy cane all sorts of things so yeah thank you so much for joining me and i wonder what's in today's bag and we have erica in the house hello there thank you so much for joining me and i hope you've having a great day. Uh, yeah, I've had too much coffee. Let's, without further ado, so I can get some inspiration, let's dive into this bag. So bag number eight is a skinny bag. It's definitely not fiber. Hmm, I wonder what it'll be. And I wonder what we'll figure out to felt from it. Yeah. Oh, I know exactly what this is. Oh, oh. So, this is water soluble paper. I have used this. If you haven't, um, check Google, um, Google on YouTube. Search on YouTube for Pam Duthy butterfly or fairy wings. This stuff is super cool because what it is is, it's a fabric that you can felt onto. Um, you can also it's like pretty translucent. Is that the word I want? That it's. You can see through it so you could trace a design or something as I did butterfly wings and fairy wings. Um, you can trace a design through it um, or draw freehand if you so desire. So you can trace a design onto it and then felt onto that, which, ooh, which is super cool. And then when you pop this into water, like magic, it fades away to nothingness. So you've got like wings or something completely easily felted. Um, the other tip that I learned when I was doing this, this was some of the first times that I worked. I won't even say worked with the makers. The first times that I bought stuff from the makers and then they contacted me and I was all excited and they spoke to me. But um, advice I got was if you don't wash away all of this, it almost works like a little bit of a starch. So you rinse it out enough so that you can't see any of the whiteness left, but pull it out. And then like if it's wings, drape it over something in the final shape you want it to be. And then then as it dries out, this just kind of starches it slightly. It's a, that's not the right word, starch, but you know what I'm saying. Wow. Yeah. So what are we going to make from this? <laughs> Give me some ideas in the chat below. I was not expecting this. So I'm not sure what to make because we already did a fairy, a fairy yesterday. So we've done wings. Hmm. Now, interesting. The, yeah, and also I don't have any water up here, so I'm not going to be able to soluble it. Or if we can't think of anything, we could save this for another project. But I've been so good at managing to get projects out of what we've been given. Oh, what could we do? Because um, it gives you that nice little bit of extra stiffness to be able to do stuff. <laughs> Let me think. But while we're here, Lisa is in the house. Good morning. Good to see you. Alex, hello there. Um, Diana, hello, looking good. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, flower. Now, there's a good idea. Right, I'm going to... Um, poinsettia is a Christmas flower, isn't it? What do they look like? Because I still... I tidied up a little bit. I still have some of this red spot. <sighs> Did you guys see that? I still have some of this red sparkle. That is not a terrible idea. Poinsettia. Yep, poinsettia is a red flower. 
Um, I'm just pulling up some images on the Tinterwebs. Okay, actually, yep, yeah, that is pretty easy. Although I will have to put in a second camera angle. Good thinking. I'm not going to be able to wet it down, um, but that could be an idea. Right, bear with me. Awesome. Love the ideas. Um, do I have a pen up here that would work? Just so I can demonstrate, possibly. Um, right, hold on. Let me sort out camera angle number two. Um, yeah, I love that idea. See, see how clever you guys all are? You immediately get me sorted out with ideas. Um, all right. Ooh. What is happening with my camera? Setting up camera number two. Um, Come on, camera. All right, I think I think that's good enough. Okay, guys, is this working again? Um, I have to change my camera. Okay, guys, am I back again? I don't know. Well, I kind of know what happened there. The internet hates me, mainly. Um, right, is that working? <laughs> Please, guys, let me know if I came back again. I just tried to reset. I'm not sure what's happening there. Um, right, I'll just check that we are working again. I have no idea. Um, Oh, yeah. Blue screen, no sound. Oh, 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 let's just hopefully let me know in the chat. Oh, what a pain. I was all ready for a cool, a cool video and then things went, went wrong. Um, I'm back now. Awesome. Thank you guys. Right. Okay, I'm going to try one more time to stick on the overhead camera. Guys, let me know. Does this work? Can you can you see the overhead camera? And if it doesn't work, we'll just do without the overhead camera. Um, I don't know what you all saw, but I kind of drew some kind of fake poinsettia petals. Um, and then there you are again. Okay. Te isn't technology marvellous? Um, right, so I'm going to cut out... 
what I just drew on the bit of paper. This is my little tiny, tiny stencil. Um, that will hopefully make a poinsettia when I put it all together. Because I think this will be awesome with the red sparkle that we've got left. And if you don't have red sparkle left, you've probably got some kind of red line about from a Santa or something. Okay. Um, little bird, hello there. Yes, it's working for you. Awesome. Um, everything's okay. Thank you, guys. Oh, right. Let's see if I would usually use a better pen than this, but this is what I've got lying about. So I said I needed five of these sort of sized petals so super easy i can just trace onto this fabric yeah you can it's a bit blurry but i don't want to mess around with stuff too much because we saw how well that went one so i'm going to go with five little leaves petals not leaves two and you could do any kind of flowers and get ones with like little bits of shading so that the centers are slightly different color from the edges looks really pretty in needle felting but we will go with this I'm trying to, i don't even have a bowl upstairs that i could go and grab some water in see that's the problem with maker surprises is it's a surprise i don't know what i'm getting yeah I should actually be a little neater and fit these in closer together so I don't waste too much of this. Because as I say, this paper is super great for doing like butterfly wings. That was the project I got um, with this in the first place. Or if you're not doing butterfly wings, fairy wings, because you could do the delicate, you know, some, some fairy drawings have um, like, holes in their wings the same with dragon wings you can make that sort of lace effect by leaving areas not felted it's so much easier um what did i reckon about six of the big ones five little petals six big petals so yeah it's cool biro is drawing on this quite nicely uh, which is handy four five right how easy is that so a little teardrop drop shape and then a little randomly shape no, I said six, didn't I? Can't even count. <laughs> Typical me. And what I'll do today, because I don't have water, we'll cut these out, felt it together to the flower, and then I will drown it later on my on my own hour. <laughs> um, but yes, oh, I'll just cut off the rest of this and save it. Yeah, so this fabric is the water soluble paper. Are they, oh yeah, these scissors do work good out. Oh, didn't bring the good scissors up, but this does the job. So what's everyone else going to make with their water-soluble paper? I think another fairy would be cool, but we just made a fairy yesterday, so I can't really just make two fairies in a row. That's too, too much fairies. And here's me sparkle. Um, don't have loads, of, it should be enough for this project, but if you don't have loads of sparkle, then just use it for the top flowers. They're the kind of most important. I'm going to double this up because that's annoying when it hits the table. Yeah. So I'm just going to sort of stab into the lines. Again, this would be super easy. Sorry, I'm, my head is going to be on screen a lot. Um, you could do this just with some felt or some pre-felt, just cut out the shapes and then felt it together to make the poinsettia. Um, 
and multiple needle tools help this. Um, I will probably use a punch tool once I've just got everything roughly in shape. Oh yeah, that's going to be pretty with this sort of gold sparkle in it. Yay, this this could this could actually work. Um, so I'm just felting each petal into shape so it's holding a rough shape and then I will hit it with something more stabby. I am so sorry about the focus. Look, camera, camera, look, it's pretty stuff. Anyway, the <laughs> that's what I'm doing, little shapes. It is a little bit blurry. Um, but yes, I think, let me know if I'm making it up. I think the poinsettia is the Christmas flower, isn't it? Because it blooms around Christmas time. And also it's red and green. It's Christmassy colours. Um, so, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's a cool choice. Hopefully, I've never felted a flower. I'd, oh, no, there was one maker's kit, I think I did. Or one kit I did a flower once, I think. But it's not something I make often. So, fingers crossed this works. We're winging it. Um, oh, I do have green as well. So, I could make leaves later. But I want to just see if we can get the flower first of all. Um, which should be pretty, pretty straightforward. I can't mess up a flower, can I? <laughs> and just because I've put these close together, I want to be kind of careful not to accidentally felt them together. I suppose it doesn't matter. It's felt. You can cut it. Yeah, so equally not a problem um i have to say i'm absolutely loving seeing everybody else's work just now it is totally crazy that i i sit and needle felt a fairy version of myself and then i wake up to a load of other people having made fairy versions of themselves um, that is just so cool to see to see people doing that um and it's good that because i think these kind of kit you know surprise boxes like this it is super cool but sometimes it's hard to get inspiration so it's cool that i've got you all here to suggest doing a flower or something um and then that just makes it easier for me to think of things and we all do these projects together and then <laughs> by day 24 we should have a decorated house <laughs> Or hopefully we'll have at least some projects that are nice. Um, but yeah, I've been loving you guys's. I can't point at my stuff now because it's all over there. Um, but some of the polar bears came out fantastic. Because um, you've got a bit more time to felt them <laughs> than me as well. So they were really impressive. And the angels, absolutely, well, fairies, absolutely gorgeous. So if you don't know, if you're not following me, I'm Pam Duffy's Crafty Friends on Facebook. Um, if you want to share your stuff there. And also because this is the Maker's Kit, we want to go on to the Facebook group there. Everyone's everyone's a maker. Um, and you can share your stuff there for chances to win. No chances to win with me because I'm stingy. Um... Okay, guys, can you let me know in the chat if I'm still live? Just in, And now I'm totally paranoid that this is all going to stop working and I'm just sitting here talking to myself. Wouldn't be the first time. Um, oh, at least that. Fantastic idea. That, if I don't have any other ideas in the future, um, if, if something doesn't inspire me or whatever, but... That, that's an idea for a future day. Um, should just, I don't have the advent, but if I did have this, I would try a bow. I think that's a super idea. You could make like a strip, a really nice strip of fabric in all sorts of colours, cut it out um, and make, make a bow. That would be pretty. Um, 
A uh, little bird, sadly not getting much time for fun crafting, is still catching up with Black Friday sales. Nice to see you felting when I work. Well, I'm super happy that you had a good Black Friday. Um, I didn't have a sale, but I am still trying to catch up. Oh, the orders are crazy. Thankfully, I've got everything out that I promised for Christmas. Um, but I know what it's like. These people go, yeah, I totally understand that it won't be ready for Christmas. And I still, I've, I've already got someone who totally understood that it wouldn't be ready for Christmas is messaging me now, asking me how things are going. And you're just like, I did tell you, <laughs> what do you expect? But yes, I do actually have my little load of dogs here. The, the last lot. Oh, that's all very dark so you won't be able to see him too well so a little this is the little lab i was talking about did him well little lab cross i think um he's just got to get little eyebrows i missed i missed his little gray eyebrows and then little happy border terrier just because i'm surrounded by all all of the dogs and then a corgi as well i'm i'm making all the breeds um and even had an order for a little Jacob's sheep. That's what I've been doing the past couple of days. It's bonkers. So this little half hour or so that I get here is like a sort of welcome break from, from all the crazy. <laughs> so much stuff, all, all the stuff to do. And I do actually today have to get out and go and buy food. <laughs> Because as we realised on Sunday, I don't have any food in the house. And yeah, getting takeaway, I just felt so rotten yesterday that I didn't need to go out and go food shopping because I didn't fancy any because the takeaway just wasn't good for me. Shame. Well, that's, that, that's a good way for the diet to work. Just be like, no, actually, that, that was nice when I ate it. <laughs> but yes, I'm going to have to actually go outside today. Well, I went yesterday, gorgeous day. I went out, walked the dog. Um, because the night before had been all spooky and foggy and it cleared up to an absolutely beautiful day um so got a nice walk there was in this the shady bits where the sun doesn't hit there was loads of frosty bits and it all looked so pretty but basically there was bits where the paths flooded from all the rain we've been having and then it froze over and just looked like a gorgeous river rather than just a frozen pot frozen puddle so yeah that was cool um <laughs> yeah. um diana you're still with this pam it's, it's like a seance is <laughs> is anybody there <laughs> thank you though um yeah it's now a paranoia because i've never had issues before but i guess lots of people are online just now um youtube has been sort of a bit glitchy it's been taking forever to um upload the live videos and stuff i'm not seeing them and people are commenting on them and i'm like how did you see it i don't even see my own <laughs> my own um videos i can't find them so i think youtube has been having issues so i'm not gonna blame the software that i'm sending to youtube wow that's really so there we go that was being super stiff do you know i think i'm being quick i'll use the three needle tool i just think i'm being quicker myself yeah Little bird, people can be impatient and seem to ignore the processing times. Oh, yeah, especially this time of year. I mean, I do get that. I've ordered some stuff and then I'm like, oh, no, it's not going to be here before Christmas. But that's that's on me. I know that's my problem. Um. Oh, thank you. Um, And gorgeous dogs and sheep. Thank you so much. I'm having fun making them, but it is a little stressful. There's there's a hundred other things I would like to do just now at this time of year. But yes, and for some some reason, the whole creative funk with making videos and everything, I'm, I'm over, I've got tons of ideas for making cool videos that will hopefully help everyone and just way too busy and also if youtube's not behaving itself then i totally don't want to be <laughs> uploading videos so i'm going to start scripting things and hopefully in the new year we'll have some awesome new ideas and new videos that will hopefully help everybody because i've got plans for moving forward i mean yes absolutely you know 
cracking Etsy, having the best year ever selling on Etsy for everyone that's selling on Etsy. But I also want to take it to new levels for all of us. Like we're all crafty, artistic people. So I want to look into really getting getting the best, you know, building our brands, really doing super well in all sorts of other ways. Um because I think I think it's the way to go for for most of us like being actual influencers, making money off of what we're making, um, the Instagram, the Facebook, all, all those places, I think are just great ways to make money that's not just sales, that's not just dealing with customers, <laughs> because there is a limit to how much we can all make. I know like Ginger, you know, there's only so many hats you can knit and there's only so much money you can get for each one. So. I think 2021, we're going to up the game because the cool thing is, I'll let, I'll let you into some of the secrets I'm thinking now. The cool the cool thing is, right, this year, well, it's not cool. Wow, that camera's doing so badly. I hope you can sort of see, look, you can see my finger, but it does not want to focus down there. You get an idea anyway. So this year, unfortunately, people are going to be losing their jobs. There's going to be more people taking the, chance to jump into being self-employed um so places like Etsy are going to become much more busy and um, there's going to be more people starting to want to craft their own career but we're in the good place hopefully we've been there before so hopefully we've got a bit of following on Facebook we've got a little bit of stuff built up our Etsy shop Google knows about us you know being one of the best things you can do is just to open your shop and just get a bit of age behind it um or you know your facebook group all your things just just have been around a bit longer so we're hopefully in a good position that to do well with sales but also to do well with making making the money from not making money from people who've just lost their jobs. I do not mean that at all, but making the, getting the money from all the brands that are going to be out there wanting to to make the money from these other people and stuff. You know, we, we should hopefully be in a super good position. So I want to do that. I want to spend the year really getting, getting us growing in different ways that makes money without having to do so much work basically and then we can make our flight to fancy we can make our craft and you know not have to felt so much like make the big projects and charge a decent amount of money for them and not have to sell 200 tiny things <laughs> okay i'm off on a total ramble but i hope that makes sense for everybody that's that's what's going through my head for next year i think it could be a really super year because we're all we're we're the established crafters even if You've not even opened yet and you're just about, you know, get get open and get started. And then you're the established one because, yeah, sadly, it's coming up. People are going to be losing their jobs. And when they do, there is always an influx of people wanting to be self-employed. It happens every every time. I I basically accidentally became self-employed around about the time of the bankers crash. Um, so there was so much else going on. And that's that's why I struggled for so long. Um, if I'd had just been in a few months earlier, I, I didn't know, <laughs> um, then things could have been so much easier. Right. Um, so because I'm not going to put these in water, I'm just going to cut them out just now. They're not well felted, but we want to get stuck. We want to have something. Um Oh, yeah, just a little bit of cutting out petals and we'll see if this comes together to anything and if it does then felt it better than what I'm doing but I think it still could be something pretty cool whoops I mean I lost <laughs> I lost the kind of pretty shoulders I put into these these petals they should have been a little better shape but I can sort that out um, but the colors are so pretty like now the light's hitting it, although I say there's a lot of orange sparkle in this, I'm seeing little bits of purple and blue, which is so pretty. Um, yeah, I think that's going to be pretty. Um, Pamela saying gorgeous dogs. Thank you so much. You guys are too nice. Um, and it's super cool to be 
to have a community, everybody supporting each other. Um, I love that. Thank you. Um, A uh, little bird sounds like a marvelous idea. Thank you so much. Um, we're limited by our physical time, so need to maximize our potential. Absolutely. I'm terrible with social media and branding, so it gets put to one side. Yeah, um, me too. I have totally been, well, <laughs> accidentally branding with my part, but but it's the same, you know. Now, you know, we just by your name and stuff, Little Bird Blythe, and I, I think of you, Little Blythe, you know, you, you put you put a f an idea in, in brain, and branding is so much more than just what color your banners are or stuff like that. It, it's about the feeling you invoke. It's about the type of crafter you are, um, and too often I think we start with the type of crafter is, I want to make money. But you've got to decide, you know, are you luxury? Are you quality? Are you friendly? Are you cute? Um, all of the things. Um, so yeah, totally want to work on that. I've been I've been talking to some big, big not coaches, but some big influencers and things, just talking about things that I hadn't thought of. Um, you're brand deals and things like if you've built up a sizable Instagram you know people are really bad at being able to ask for the money they deserve for like an influencer post and it hadn't even occurred to me now I'm not going to be off like I'm not going to be like makers now you have to charge me 200 you have to pay me a thousand pounds for making a video on your kit that I bought I'm I'm not interested in things like that um but if you're making, you know, a sponsored video for someone or a sponsored Instagram post or something, I'd always thought of it in terms of how much money you're going to make the brand by you doing that sponsorship, you know, how much they're physically going to make in sales. But what it hadn't occurred to me, what you're also doing, what, you know, it's not just your time, but you're charging them for taking the photographs, for editing, for making up a script to talk about their items. You know, all these things are actually worth money. Um, if you're, if it's like a YouTube video, you're, you're charging them for your um, video editing expertise and video editors are blooming expensive. So yeah, we've got to, much, much as I hate it, we have to value our time quite a lot more. Um, um, Lisa, oh, I wanted to launch this summer, but 2020 happened. I think I'm ready for 2021. Well, yeah, exactly. 2020 has been special. Let's 2021 is going to be better. Um, and yeah, it's not too late to start, but I would totally get in, jump in like as soon as possible. That just, just say to like today, it's like, right, okay, definitely 2021, I'm doing this. So, start thinking about what's your branding going to be like what kind of shop do you want to have you know what what kind of feeling are you want to evoking um look into you know thinking do you want to write blogs do you want to have a facebook community do you want to make it out you know do you want to make videos what what do you want to do other things um and yet it's super cool to be thinking of and I never did at the start. It is really good to to think of not just I need to make money, I want to sell things. Think of in five years' time or something, how do you see this working? Um, what do you want to be doing? You know, are you are you wanting to be working with companies to create kits? Are you wanna be having tutorials? Are you wanna be oh, oh, we've got an extra bit. <laughs> um, are you wanting to be doing stuff on TV, you know, like the wonderful makers, they're out there on creating craft TV now. You know, think of what it's gonna be like in the future. Um, how are you gonna be making that kind of passive income so you, it's not all just your time? I'm really annoyed by that camera, behave. Um, so it's it's more than just, you know, as, as all, I want none of us in five years time to be rushing off our feet 
at Christmas time, trying to scrape together those few extra orders. Um, I want us to have had a good year and be chilling and having a good Christmas and letting the people who've just started been rushing around and panicking to get all the custom customer orders in. Right, if I come up here, will you focus a little bit? So that's, do you know, that's not bad for the amount of time. I'm gonna felt the little petals, but I'll do. Yes, I will felt the little petals together and then pop them on top of the big petals. Um, but yeah, totally be get get in that mindset right now of what you're gonna be, how it's gonna look, and then it's gonna be so much easier. You can start next year and say, right, I need to build, I need to do Instagram, I need to figure out, you know, how to take good photos. I need this. This is this is the need that I have just now for what I need to learn when I get started. Oh, do you know, actually, just the little ones is really kind of cute. <laughs> um, but yeah, and I can, I, whoop, that one didn't quite stick. Um, but yeah, you can meet and spend a whole lot longer on this. These are barely felted. If I put this in water, they'd fall apart. But I suppose that's also a cool little, okay, cool little trick. If you don't want to super hard felt something, felt them onto this. The the soluble paper will hold them together just like, like a gremlin. Don't get it wet and you'll be good. I think these have little yellow bits in the center, don't they? Yes, they do. Um, that's cool. These little ones are being fiddly, but the sparkle is such the cutest thing. Right, so, that's not bad. There's a surprise. I never thought I would manage that in the in the time I've given myself. And again, if you felt this nice and firmly, that would be a super easy. Where is this? What colour? Yellow or I'll go yellow. Um, super easy to make a kind of brooch out of this. Just do a better job than I did. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so it, this is just like little little balls in the middle. <laughs> that actually worked. I mean, it is so not well felted, but it's a good good start and I know you guys are going to come away and do so much better than me those of you that are doing this so yeah so it's the sparkle from day two day two I think we got the red sparkle um and the paper and obviously your needle from day one if you had had a needle at day one and then you just need a little bit of yellow extra or not. Right. Oh, that's my belly grumbling. <laughs> I don't know if you can all hear that. Right, I do need to felt the bottom leaves together a little bit better. But overall, <laughs> we have kind of whoop, made us a sort of poinsettia. Let's hide the camera that's just not working. Go away. Right, back, back to me. So that, do you know... <laughs> That was actually quite a quick, fun project. It's not well felted, but I can finish that in my own time. And yeah, then you could totally dunk it in water when you're happy with it. But if I if I trimmed off the extra even better, you wouldn't even see it. Cute. <laughs> Simple. Great idea. Thanks for the idea of a flower. Um... A uh, little bird. You're very wise. Pa oh, thank you so much. <laughs> not not often anyone said that to me. Um, been thinking the same for a while, but I've ended up in a rush again this Christmas with serious risk of being burnt out again as working to capacity. Yeah, I totally, I agree. I know what you're saying. Thankfully, I haven't been too bad because I put my prices up a very large amount this year um, because I was aware... I, in the past, I've always been like, oh, you can't charge too much. Um, but in years gone by, I have given myself some kind of repetitive strain injury or something due to 
over felting um, and that's not healthy so that does mean there's a limit to the amount I can felt so yeah it's it's a person intensive thing and need to find more ways that aren't what they say passive income is it's stopping swapping your time for money it's it's doing ways to bring in money that aren't involving you having to put in extra hours because you come to a limit and so many crafts thankfully needle felting if you're you know they're super good at it the really artistic people can make decent money for their time but lots of things like look my mum does knitting so I I know this um something like knitting there's a limit to what people will pay because no matter how wonderful your knitting is you can pay someone in a country with cheaper labor and cheap materials and get something that's almost as good as what you could have paid four or five times the price for there's only so much people will pay for a pair of socks yeah you can dive into the quality materials and everything but i don't think many hand knitters make a really de decent hourly wage so we've got to find other ways to do things so it's looking into things things like that what can we do to take our expertise and get get money for <laughs> for not doing the things um and yeah getting burned out is another thing it is hard um and that's another thing i want to look at time management all that kind of thing as well because yeah it's oh, the the one thing that annoys me the most is people that say oh but they're spending all day marketing their stuff and they're doing 20 hours of seo every day and they're doing this that and the other thing but it's just it's not effective use of your time. You stop stop working so hard for no benefit. So I want to talk about look into like really good time management and all the things. Um, and okay, my my thinking though is I don't want to be I don't want to be hiring staff um, because to me that just sounds like stress and a load of extra work. Um, I don't want to be a multi-million dollar company. I want to be me that's making enough money to sit on the beach with my dog and <laughs> have a day off and, you know, have, have my house nice and stuff, but I don't want to have the stress of dealing with other people. <laughs> um... Uh, Lisa, amazing questions to ponder on. Thank you. Glad, glad I helped. I uh, have been working on a lot of them. Just wanted as close to very good, then aim for almost perfect. <laughs> yeah, cool. Sounds good. Um, <laughs> Diana, you've got the rest of the day, so it really should be more felted. Exactly. You can do a better job than me. That's kind of cute, though. And I, I mean, obviously, um, when it's dunked in water, the white edges will go. Um, and this you can't really see the sparkle so much but in real life it is very pretty um lisa lovely flower thank you no i'm for for off the top of my head winging it pretty happy with that um will it actually come off the pad is it all felted together probably not um <laughs> oh, almost just needs a bit of work at the back to make sure everything yeah that felted better people would make a really cute little brooch we've got the pins from yesterday uh robin hello there hi pam and everyone watching hey there um <laughs> thank you erica you're doing a great job in in less time yes i'm i'm under pressure here to to get it done in a sensible amount of time but i think cute totally can do it better but so that was six big leaves, five little leaves, a few little balls in the center. Half an hour felting, but do a bit longer, do twice as much, and yeah, you'll have you'll have something really good, really quick. I'm impressed. Yay, that's cute. Um uh look. So I'm reading Little Bird's comments and just nodding and not actually reading it out loud. Um, your point about diversifying and doing tutorials, etc., is good. Makes more sense to do something once and reap the rewards over and over again. Exactly. <laughs> yes, I do need to do more of them, but I have tutorials that I did eight, nine, ten years ago. 
they still sell. Um, they sell for a couple of quid. I don't make a fortune off it, but literally don't do any work. They just deal with themselves. Um, so that's definitely something to look more into. Um, but yes, totally, totally love the idea of do something once, reap the reward over and over again. That sounds like my kind of my kind of business plan. <laughs> Uh, Tobias, hi, sorry I'm late. What have we got today? A rainbow colored scrunchie. Uh, we have some kind of an attempt at a poinsettia. I know nothing about flowers, but um, we got the, for those who are just joining us and missed the start, in today's Maker's Advent Calendar box, we got the water soluble paper. This stuff is awesome. <coughs> So if you don't know, it gives a base that you can felt onto or anything else, but it works. I think it's really known for embroidery, um, but you can create onto it. And then when you dip it into water, the paper goes away magically um, and then you're left with whatever you created. So I think it was Lisa, wasn't it, that, that, that suggested I could make a flower with this. Um, so I, I thought, what are Christmassy flowers and made a sort of poinsettia i don't have water with me so the water soluble paper is still there and it's not felted as well as it could be um because we did it quick but that's today's project um i totally look forward to seeing whatever an else makes if you do make one or if you make something different i'll put this away give you five minutes all to say your goodbyes and then i'll let you get back on with your day There we go. Another little thing added to the wall of Christmas. <laughs> that doesn't suit me. It's so much, so much bar humbug. Um, oh, Tobias, you've got a poinsettia growing wild in the garden. Awesome. Um, Robin switched to digital pro products and it's been so strange not processing orders manually. Yeah, the, the weird thing with the digital things is because they're shipped automatically, they don't really go into your orders, they immediately go into process, finished, completed, whatever. <laughs> Like I've only been on Etsy for like 12 years. I don't know the terms, but they immediately dive out. So you can miss if something sells out. Um, that's something to watch out for. But apart from that, yeah, 90% of the time you don't even have to talk to customers. <laughs> it's so cool. Um, so we'll look at things like that. Um, oh, Lisa, it was Diane that had the idea for a flower. <laughs> thank you. Sorry, Diane. Thank you, Diane, for the idea of doing a flower. <laughs> but Lisa will take the credit. Um, and Diane's used the water soluble paper for machine embroidery, and it's perfect. Um, okay, cool. Right, guys, have an awesome day. I wonder what tomorrow brings. I have no idea. Hopefully it brings better technology. Anyone who's going to catch the replay, yeah, something happened at the start. But we got it together. We got a stream that worked. Okay, well, thank you so much. And I'll see you next time.